Are you unknowingly risking your liver's health with everyday medications? In today's deep dive, we're uncovering the truth behind common pills that might be more foe than friend to your liver. Guided by the expertise of Dr. Travis Stork, renowned emergency room physician and beloved co-host of The Doctors, we'll explore safer alternatives and protective strategies for one of your body's most crucial organs. With Dr. Stork's practical advice and our commitment to health, we're ready to tackle the hidden dangers lurking in our medicine cabinets. Remember, phrases like avoid at all cost and save your liver are not just cautionary advice. They're essential guidelines for preserving our liver's health and ensuring our long-term well-being. Join us as we discuss these pills and navigate this critical topic armed with knowledge and inspired by Dr. Stork's wisdom to make informed decisions about the medications we take. Pill 1. Acetaminophen The hidden risk behind your go-to painkiller. Acetaminophen, found in a myriad of over-the-counter remedies, from headache cures to cold treatments, is a staple in medicine cabinets worldwide. However, its ubiquity belies a significant risk. When taken in excess, acetaminophen can lead to severe liver damage. Echoing the concerns of health professionals, Dr. Travis Stork has highlighted on the doctors the critical importance of adhering to the recommended dosages of acetaminophen. The liver's capacity to process this drug is limited, and surpassing this limit can cause irreversible harm. Dr. Stork points out that many people may not realize they're over-consuming acetaminophen by taking multiple medications that contain it, compounding the risk of toxicity. To safeguard your liver, it's essential to read medication labels carefully and tally the total amount of acetaminophen you're ingesting, especially if you're combining different treatments. Dr. Stork's advice is clear. Staying within the safe dosage limits is not just a guideline, but a crucial rule for protecting your liver's health. Navigating pain relief safely is crucial. Next, an everyday helper with hidden dangers. Pill number two, NSAIDs. Ever thought the relief from your go-to painkiller might come with a hidden cost? Yes, we're talking about those handy NSAIDs, ibuprofen, naproxen, and the like that we all reach for without a second thought, whether it's for a headache, joint pain, or those pesky menstrual cramps. They're like the trusty friends we call on in times of need. But here's the thing. Just like any friendship, there needs to be boundaries. These pills do a fantastic job at dialing down inflammation and pain, but they're also having a little chat with your liver every time you take them. And if you're calling on them too often, your liver might start to feel a bit overwhelmed. It's all about the balance. Using these meds more than you really need to can start to wear on your liver, leading to some not-so-great changes in liver enzymes, which is doctor speak for your livers under stress. So what's the secret to keeping the peace with NSAIDs and your liver? Moderation, my friends. Think of it as not overstaying your welcome. Use the smallest amount that gets the job done and try not to make it a daily habit. And hey, if you're finding yourself reaching for that bottle a bit too often, it might be worth a chat with your doctor to make sure everything's okay in Liverland. Finding balance in pain management is key, but what about the antibiotics we rely on? Pill number three, certain antibiotics, a double-edged sword in infection treatment. Isn't it amazing how antibiotics swoop in like superheroes to fight off those nasty infections? They're the unsung heroes in our medicine cabinets, ready at a moment's notice to battle the bacteria that ails us. But here's a twist in that tale. Sometimes even superheroes can have a side they struggle with. While antibiotics are busy doing the good work, some of them have a bit of a tough time getting along with our liver. It's like this. As they're metabolized or broken down in the liver, certain types can be a bit too harsh, leading to what's known as liver toxicity. It's not the most common side effect, but it's serious enough to warn a heads up. Monitoring your liver during treatment with these powerful meds is like keeping an eye on a simmering pot. It prevents things from boiling over. If you're starting on antibiotics, especially the heavy-duty kind, your doctor might suggest regular check-ins on your liver's well-being just to make sure everything's ticking along as it should. Antibiotics save lives, yet caution is paramount. Up next, a common remedy with overlooked risks. Pill number four, 
amiodione, a heart helper with a hepatic hitch. When it comes to keeping our hearts beating in rhythm, amiodarone is like the conductor of an orchestra, ensuring every section comes in at the right time. It's a go-to for certain heart conditions, stepping in to correct irregular heartbeats that could lead to more serious issues. But, as with any maestro wielding a powerful baton, there's a catch. While amiodarone takes charge in the heart department, it's having a bit of a side conversation with your liver and not always a friendly one. The thing is, this medication needs to be processed by the liver, and sometimes that process can put a strain on our hepatic friend. Over time, this strain can lead to liver risk, something we'd all like to avoid. That's why, if you're taking amiodarone, your doctor might become a bit like a concerned parent, insisting on regular liver function tests. It's their way of making sure that while your heart's getting the support it needs, your liver isn't left picking up the tab. Heart health without compromising the liver, but beware of the silent risk of antifungal medications. Pill number five, antifungal medications, fighting fungus at a liver's expense. When it comes to banishing those pesky fungal infections, antifungal medications are go-to warriors. They dive into the fray, targeting the unwelcome invaders with precision. But here's the twist. While they're busy keeping the fungal foes at bay, they might be throwing a few punches at your liver as well. You see, these powerful meds have to be processed by your liver, and sometimes this can be a bit of a heavy lift. The liver, being the trooper it is, usually handles this just fine, but certain antifungal medications can push it into overdrive, leading to potential liver damage. It's like asking your liver to run a marathon without any training. Eventually, it's going to feel the strain. That's why keeping an eye on your liver enzymes becomes crucial when you're on these medications. Think of it as a regular health checkup for your liver, making sure it's not getting more than it can handle. It's all about striking that delicate balance, effectively clearing up infections while keeping your liver out of the line of fire. Clearing infections while safeguarding your liver. Next, a popular choice for diabetes management. Pill number six, statins. Cholesterol control with a cautionary note. Statins stand at the forefront of our arsenal against high cholesterol, significantly reducing the risk of heart disease for many. Yet, in the complex interplay of medication and body chemistry, the liver emerges as a silent stakeholder, processing these powerful drugs and occasionally feeling the strain. While statins are celebrated for their life-saving benefits, it's essential to keep an eye on their impact on liver health. In his advocacy for comprehensive health management, Mr. Travis Stork has highlighted an often overlooked aspect of statin use. I recommend people taking statin drugs talk to their doctor about adding Qnol CoQ10 to their regimen, combined with heart healthy habits, he advises. This suggestion underscores the importance of not only monitoring their liver health, but also supporting the body's overall well being while on statins. Regular liver health screenings become not just a recommendation, but a necessity for those on statin therapy. It's a proactive step to ensure that in lowering cholesterol, we're not inadvertently compromising our liver's health. Managing cholesterol with liver health in mind, yet diabetes medications also warrant attention. Pill 7, Certain Diabetes Medications. Balancing blood sugar and liver health isn't a piece of cake. Managing diabetes is a bit like walking a tightrope. On one side, you've got your blood sugar levels that need constant attention. On the other, there's the rest of your body's health, including your liver, which sometimes doesn't get the spotlight it deserves. It turns out, some of the medications we rely on to keep our blood sugar in check can be a bit of a double-edged sword for our liver. While these medications are invaluable in managing diabetes, it's crucial to remember that the liver plays a key role in processing them. Just like a busy office worker buried under paperwork, the liver can get overwhelmed, leading to elevated liver enzymes, a sign of stress or damage. It's a reminder that every medication we introduce into our body's ecosystem has a ripple effect. And that's why the mantra, monitor and manage, should be your guiding principle. Regular checkups with your healthcare provider to keep an eye on your liver's health can make all the difference. It's about finding that sweet spot where your blood sugar is under control and your liver is thriving, not just surviving. 
diabetes control shouldn't risk liver damage. Moving on, a treatment for anxiety and sleep. Pill number eight, benzodiazepines. Easing anxiety with awareness is important. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, finding a moment of calm can sometimes feel like searching for a needle in a haystack. That's where benzodiazepines come in, offering a helping hand to those battling anxiety or sleepless nights. But as with any helper, it's important to know a bit about them beyond their calming embrace. Benzodiazepines, while effective for short-term relief, carry a conversation with your liver that's worth tuning into, especially with long-term use. These meds are like guests in your liver's home, and just like any long-term visitor, they can start to have an impact on the household. Over time, this impact can manifest as stress on your liver, showing us that even our go-to solutions for peace of mind need to be balanced with our body's overall health in mind. So what's the takeaway? It's all about using these medications with a mindful approach. Regular check-ins with your doctor can help ensure that your quest for tranquility doesn't inadvertently lead to liver stress. It's possible to find serenity, but let's make sure we're not trading peace of mind for liver health. Seeking serenity without compromising liver health. Next, a common solution for acid reflux. Pill 9, Proton Pump Inhibitors. Relief from reflux with a watchful eye. Ah, proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs as we've come to know them, have been nothing short of a godsend for those of us battling the fiery dragon that is acid reflux. They swoop in, dial down the acid production, and provide much needed relief to our beleaguered esophagus. But as we've learned on this journey, every hero has its Achilles heel. When it comes to PPIs, their long-term residency in our system raises a flag for liver health. It's a bit like having a really effective housekeeper who, over time, starts rearranging things you didn't want touched. In small, short doses, PPIs are fantastic. Stretch that over months or years, and your liver might start sending you RSVPs to meetings you didn't realize you'd scheduled. The liver, ever the diligent processor of what we ingest, can find itself working overtime with prolonged PPI use, leading to potential enzyme elevations and stress. It's a reminder that even the medicines we rely on to make life more comfortable need to be balanced with mindfulness towards our overall health. Soothing heartburn while staying liver alert. Finally, a look at something we never thought would be damaging the liver. Pill number 10, Hormonal Therapies. Balancing hormones without tipping the liver scales. Navigating the world of hormonal therapies, whether it's for birth control, managing menopause symptoms, or other hormone-related treatments is like walking a tightrope. On one side, you've got the undeniable benefits these therapies bring to the table, relief, regulation, and sometimes a return to normalcy. On the flip side, there's your liver, quietly reminding you that it's part of this equation as well. Hormonal therapies, for all their perks, require your liver to put in some extra work. It's like throwing a big party and not hiring a cleanup crew. Someone's going to do the heavy lifting. In this case, that someone is your liver, processing and metabolizing these hormones so your body can use them effectively. But just like any hard worker, the liver has its limits. Push it too hard for too long, and you might start seeing signs of strain. This is why keeping an eye on liver health becomes crucial when you're on hormonal therapies. Regular checkups can be your best friend here, ensuring that your liver isn't singing the blues while you're reaping the benefits of hormonal balance. And there you have it, folks, the rundown on 10 common meds that might be throwing your liver a curveball. With a little help from our friend, Dr. Travis Stork, we've peeled back the layers on how to keep your liver smiling while managing everything from aches to acid reflux. So let's make a pact to keep our liver in the loop. After all, it's doing the heavy lifting to keep us clean, clear, and under control. Stay curious, stay informed, and let's make choices that celebrate our liver's hard work. If you found this journey through the world of meds and liver health as eye-opening as we hoped, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and share this video far and wide. Because when it comes to health, especially liver health, we're all in this together. Here's to making every day a liver-loving day.